This creamy chicken and mushroom soup is a great weeknight dinner recipe for this fall or winter. It is super simple and quick to make. Hey fam, welcome to Sundays at Teas where we explore healthy foods that happen to be gluten-free, have great conversation, and even better drinks. Prep all of your ingredients first. Here is what you'll need. Start by cutting four celery stalks in cross sections. Then cut your onion in half rings. If you want, you can cut them smaller if that's what you prefer. Next, mince about four to five fresh garlic cloves. I don't know about you, but my garlic press is my favorite kitchen tool. You can use either sliced or whole portobello mushrooms. Pre-sliced mushrooms will definitely save you on time. Now it's time to prep the chicken. It should go without saying, but I want to go on the record by saying wash your chicken first. Once your chicken is clean, cut the chicken into one inch cubes. Season with salt and pepper. I use both black and white ground pepper here. I had some leftover leek leaves from when I made the potato leek soup. So I bundled up the leaves so we can add it to the broth later for an added layer of flavor. This step is completely optional. To a large pot, add enough olive oil to saute the veggies and cook the chicken. I'm sure you're wondering why I have olive oil in the mason jar. Well, I had some leftover roasted garlic olive oil from when I made garlic confit for my husband. It was a great addition to the soup. Add the onion and saute for two to three minutes. Then add the minced garlic and saute for about another minute. Next, add the chicken. Cook until the chicken is just brown on all sides. The chicken doesn't have to be cooked all the way through at this point, it'll cook thoroughly later. Stir in the celery and mushrooms. Add more salt and pepper. Pour in the chicken broth and the bundle of leek leaves, fresh thyme, and a bay leaf. Bring to a boil. We add the heavy whipping cream. As you see here, I am whisking in a white powder to the cream. This is arrowroot, which is a white flavorless starch used to thicken sauces and soups. You can use arrowroot or another starch or flour. And lastly, add in the kale. Cover and let simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. At this point, the chicken will cook all the way through. Garnish with fresh parsley and ground pepper. Serve immediately and enjoy. The link for the full recipe and instructions is in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. More recipes are available at sundaysatteas.com. Until next time, fam.